sin. Missing the mark. Bobo shooter. Always off target. Char recruit. Louie. Pack Jowlock. Go take CB Leaf. Bingo Long also. My name is not Bobo. It's Cha Cha, Moan Cha Cha, to be exact. How dare you talk back to me, you low life? Knock it down 20. Brought to you by All F Taft Sermons. Voila! Yeah! The Bible defines sin as missing the mark or target, Proverbs 19 verse 2, Amplified Bible. Sin is first a noun before it becomes a verb. It is a noun of an erroneous perception of God which festers into the verb of harmful actions to others and even self, working ourselves to the bone to say the least. We are like archers who perpetually miss the mark or fail to hit the target. This is because we inherited from Adam the erroneous perception of God as one who demands good works from us to earn his love. In other words, our arrows of good works can never hit the target or mark of God's unconditional love, as shown and proven by the beloved Son of God as Jesus Christ and Him crucified, Romans 5 verses 7 to 8, 1 John 4 verses 9 to 10. This is simply because God's love for us is unconditional. Yet, we are trying to have what is unconditional by meeting conditions. How to hit the mark lid that da. If the truth be told, every single human being yearns to be loved. This is because we are created in the image of God, who is love, Genesis 1 verse 26, 1 John 4 verses 8 and 16. When the devil drove a wedge between God and us, we end up looking for love in all the wrong places and faces. In this fallen world, people love money and use each other. On the contrary, God uses money to love people. God knows that we need money in this world. However, He wants us to first seek to know that He loves us unconditionally, and all that we need will be added to us, Luke 12 verses 22-32. As stated in Romans 8 verse 32, He who did not spare His own Son, but delivered Him up for us all, how shall He not with Him also freely give us all things? It is also stated in James 4 verse 2, You do not have because you do not ask. Virus, watch your front! In front black black one patch. Can see shoot, cannot see anyhow shoot, dowzen or ojit dot. Qua wuli park, qua bor, si swa park. To state the obvious, unconditional means without conditions. We do not have to meet any conditions for God to love us. Yet, we want a set of good works to earn what God has already freely given us. If it is free, then it is without conditions. And if it is with conditions, then it is not free. In the words of the Apostle Paul, And if by grace, then it is no longer of works, otherwise grace is no longer grace. But if it is of works, it is no longer grace, otherwise work is no longer work. Romans 11 verse 6 Jesus is both the Good Shepherd and the Lamb of God who takes away the sin of the world, John 10 verse 11, John 1 verses 29 and 36. In the same way, he is both the mark or target of God's unconditional love, and the arrow that hits the target or mark. As recorded in John 14 verse 6, Jesus said, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No one comes to the Father except through me. In other words, no one hits the bullseye of God's unconditional love except by Jesus the arrow. This notion of Jesus as the guided missile, of sorts, that always hit the target is evident from Romans 8 verse 34. Who is he who condemns? It is Christ who died, and furthermore is also risen, who is even at the right hand of God, who also makes intercession for us. The word intercession is the Greek verb entegano, Strong's number 1793, which essentially means to hit the mark. It is of the opposite meaning of the, the Greek noun harmartia, Strong's number 266, meaning to miss the mark or sin. The word n intensifies tugchino. Strong's number 5177, which means, spot on or hit the bull's eye. The Hebrew equivalent is the word pega, Strong's number 6293, which carries the connotation of striking or reaching a target.
God knows and sees every human heart, Luke 16 verse 15, 1 Samuel 16 verse 7. When we say or do anything in Jesus' name even when we knowingly, or unknowingly, sugarcoat them with the right spiritual lingo, Jesus will ensure that all of that works out together for our good, Romans 8 verses 27 to 28. In other words, we may not get exactly what we asked for but God will see to it that we enjoy the good, behind what we asked him for, Matthew 7 verses 7 to 11. God loves us unconditionally. Period. This is crystal clear from how God sent his beloved son as Jesus the Christ to put a full stop before God's day of vengeance, as recorded in the following passage of scriptures. When Jesus quoted from the prophet Isaiah, he closed the book just before God's day of vengeance. Thereafter, he said, Today, this scripture is fulfilled in your hearing. Luke 4 verse 21 God is faithful to love us in the way that he created us to be loved by him, Hebrews 10 verse 23. As stated in 1 Thessalonians 5 verses 9 to 10, New International Version. For God did not appoint us to suffer wrath, but to receive salvation through our Lord Jesus Christ. He died for us so that, whether we are awake or asleep, we may live together with Him. In conclusion, God loves us to the uttermost as evident from Isaiah 46 verse 4. Even to your old age, I am He, and even to gray hairs I will carry you. I have made, and I will bear, even I will carry, and will deliver you. As normal earthly parents, our children remain our little babies, no matter how old they are. If we being evil can love our children in that manner, how much more our loving Father God? God blesses us with children not for us, to teach them. On the contrary, He gave us children to let us experience a sampling of the depth of His unconditional love for us. Despite His hectic schedule, God takes time to number the very hair on our head even though some of us makes it very easy for him to count. One look and you see it all, Matthew 10 verse 30. Yit, Mu Liao Lung. It speaks of the intense attention that God gives to our life. Happy times do really fly, it is time to say goodbye. Thanks for watching. You may want to subscribe to my YouTube channel or become a patron. Till we meet again, be blessed.